exactly this version will be supported till 2032. Just imagine, Windows 10 without Microsoft Store and ads, but security updates until 2032. Sounds like a something pretty good. Today we're going to take a close look at Windows 10 IoT Enterprise. A specialized version of Windows 10 designed for embedded and Internet of Things IoT devices. In short, this version was not designed for ordinary computers, but surprisingly it works great on them and successfully runs 99% of tasks. It offers enterprise-level security and long-term support until 2032, which makes it very popular because Windows 10 support ends in 2025 and not everyone will be able to install Windows 11 because of high system requirements. This video is mostly suitable for enthusiasts because we will not download the ISO from the Microsoft official website because Microsoft does not provide us with such an opportunity. The website I will be using today can be considered safe, but ultimately, it's up to you. Disclaimer, today we will not discuss how to activate Windows, because I do not promote piracy. So let's get started. So friends, let's get into it. Firstly, you need to navigate to this website, Mass Grave. I will leave link in the video description. No worries. Then you need to scroll down a little bit and you need to select Windows 10 LTSC 2021. It's necessary. Nextly, you can see that here we have Windows 10 IoT Enterprise. If we navigate to the Google, you may see that exactly this version, this build will be supported till 2032, which is actually great. And we will get security updates shortly. Microsoft claims that this version is not designed for all types of laptops and computers, only for specific devices. However, I install it on my laptop, on my computer. I experience this version a lot and I don't have any problems. Simply to understand, this version is very clean and it has no ads. Actually, that's why people want to install this version in 2025, because by installing this version, your computer will be safe, it will receive security updates, and you can run the latest application like on Windows 11. You can run 99% of tasks and applications on this version of Windows 10. Please take a close look because we need to select this version and during Windows 10 installation, we will select Windows 10 ILT Enterprise. So click here. As you can see, this is English United States, IoT Enterprise. Then click on download file. As you can see, the ISO file takes 4.5 gigabytes, so it's not that large. Friends, I successfully downloaded Windows 10 IoT version on my desktop. Nextly, we need to insert our USB stick into the laptop or a computer and create a bootable USB stick with Windows 10 to install it on our laptop or PC. I want to mention one very important thing. I recommend to have a USB stick with at least 8 gigabytes of free space. So 2 to 4 gigabytes will be not enough. At least it must have 8 gigabytes of free space. And also I recommend to use USB 3.0 flash drive, however, it's not necessary, it just will be faster. So I inserted my USB stick into the laptop. Now we need to navigate to the Rufus official website. Rufus is an open source utility. It will help us to create a bootable USB stick. Also, this utility helps to bypass some requirements. For example, in Windows 11, you can install it on an unsupported laptop or PC. So we need to scroll down a little bit. In my case, as always, I will select a portable version. That is, we can run it as a portable application without installation. So I will click here. Great, I successfully downloaded Rufus, so now we have a utility to create a bootable USB stick. My USB stick is already inserted into the laptop. Now I need to run the utility, just double click on it. Do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? I will select no, because this is the latest version. In this window, clarify that this is exactly your USB stick. This is my USB drive, it has 64 gigabytes of free space, but as I said earlier, 8 gigabytes will be more than enough. Here leave everything by default, disk or ISO image, then click here and select your ISO. So in my case, I saved my ISO on my desktop, so I will click here, select open. In the image option, leave everything also by default, standard Windows installation. 
if you have a modern laptop or PC since 2012 or 2011, even though you can leave GPT by default. But if your laptop boots only in legacy mode, you need to change partition mode from GPT to MBR and it will automatically boot in legacy if you select MBR. But if your laptop, most laptops support MBR and GPT, that is legacy and UEFI, you can leave the first option. The most popular option is GPT, but if you have a quite old laptop, definitely I recommend to leave MBR. So I will leave GPT. If you wish, you can name your USB stick, for example, Windows 10 IoT, then click on start. Before proceeding to the next stage, I want to mention that all data will be erased, deleted from your USB stick. So if you have some important files on your USB stick, please copy them to your laptop or PC. Nextly, I recommend to check some boxes. For example, you can create a local account and you can decide what username you want to use. I will leave everything by default. You can disable data collection. And also, if you wish, you can disable BitLocker automatic device encryption. It all depends on you. I will click on OK. Once again, warning that all data will be deleted. I will click OK. This process may take few minutes, so please be patient and take your time. Finally, we created a bootable USB stick with Windows 10 IoT. I just accidentally closed the window. It's not a deal breaker, now you just need to close this window and safely remove your USB drive. Click here, safely remove hardware and eject media. And select your USB drive. Before moving forward, I want to mention that all data also will be deleted from your SSD or HDD drive. So if you have an opportunity, I recommend to save it to cloud or to another portable HDD or SSD drive. So let's insert our USB stick into the laptop. The easiest way to select our USB stick is to turn on the laptop and press F12 key. It will enter the boot menu and from the boot menu we can enter our USB stick. So just turn on the machine and immediately start pressing F12 key like this. Turn on, press F12. We are in the boot menu. I will change the angle to make it more convenient. Now we just need to select our USB stick. In my case this is my USB drive, Lexer USB flash drive. In your case you need to select your USB stick. So this is my USB drive. Now I will press enter. We are in the installation window. Just click on next. Select install now. At the moment I will select I don't have a product key. And probably one of the most important moments in this video. Here you need to select Windows 10 IoT Enterprise. Then click on next. Click here. Accept all terms and conditions. Select next. Now we will do advanced installation. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to delete all previous partitions. I will click here, delete. As I said earlier, all data will be deleted. So here's the thing. My SSD drive has only 128 gigabytes of storage. You may see like 120. However, it has more than 120 gigabytes and I will just click on next. But if you have more than 100 gigabytes of free space, like a 300, 400, you can allocate some space for Windows 10. And I recommend to allocate 83,000 megabytes. You just need to type 83,000 megabytes. Probably it will give you about 80 gigabytes of storage. Let's check. Yep, almost 81 gigabyte, and then you can click on next. In my case, it's not necessary. So once again, I will delete all the partitions. I will select delete. My message is simple. If you don't have enough space, just select a single drive. If you have more space, you can allocate space to different partitions. Installation is going on, now we just need to wait and be patient until it will install Windows 10 IoT on our laptop or PC. During Windows installation, laptop may restart several times, that's totally okay, so do nothing before you will see the final window. Again, we are in the installation window, you need to select your region, for example, I selected United States, you need to select your region, then you can select your keyboard layout. If you wish, you can add additional one. 
click on skip. You can easily connect to your Wi-Fi. It will not require you to enter a Microsoft account. So I will connect to my internet. Great, click on next. And finally, here we are in Windows 10 IoT Enterprise and quickly I will show you the version of the Windows and also the specs of the system. Click on the properties. As you can see, this is the 4th gen of Intel Core i5 CPU, power efficient CPU and Windows 10 IoT Enterprise. Let's move forward. As I said earlier, this version will get updates until 2032. And moreover, let's try to get some updates. So I will navigate to the update center. The moment we all are waiting for, let's try to get the latest updates. Obviously, this process may take some time, so I will skip this moment and show you the final result. From what you can see, I almost got all available updates and now we need to restart the computer. The laptop restarted and if you see this message, the user's password must be changed before signing in. You just need to click on OK and click here. That's all. Then click on OK one more time. Keep that in mind, after receiving updates, it's like plus 10 gigabytes of storage. Honestly, it's not a big deal, because this is one of the most cleanest Windows 10 that you can get on your laptop or PC. It doesn't have ads, it's receiving only the most important updates like security updates, etc. So yep, you can install this version of Windows 10 on your laptop or PC that officially doesn't support Windows 11 and you can use it normally until 2032. Too. Of course, in the end, it's all up to you. If this video was helpful, please like it. Also, I recommend watching this video on how to install Windows 11 on an unsupported laptop or PC in 2025.